हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट हाउ रिफ्रैक्शन अकर्स इन प्रिजम्स और राइट सो नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यू टॉपिक वी आर स्टार्टिंग द न्यू चैप्टर विच इज स्पेक्ट्रम एंड वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर विद स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक डिविएशन प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम अ प्रिजम सो वॉट डू वी मीन बाई डिविएशन डिविएशन इज एक्चुअली द बेंडिंग ऑफ लाइट फ्रॉम इट्स ओरिजिनल पाथ फॉर इंस्टेंस सपोज दिस इज अ ट्राइंगुलर प्रिजम ओके नाउ कंसिडर an incident ray coming at this angle all right now what we do when we follow the order of refraction first of all we see whether the ray is going from rarer to denser and denser to rarer and then we proceed taking the away from the normal or towards the normal so what i'll be doing i'll be drawing a normal on this surface now instead of going straight the ray should have gone actually straight in absence of the prism but right now there is a denser medium in the path of the ray so what will happen the ray is going to bend towards the normal because why refraction is occurring from rarer to denser medium so rarer to denser it will bend towards the normal so this ray instead of going straight is should be bending towards the normal so it will bend somewhere like this now on the other surface again there is going to be another refraction and to see that we are drawing another normal this time the ray should have gone straight like this but instead of going like this the ray is traveling from denser to back rarer medium due to which it is going to bend away from the normal so the ray bent away from the normal so i am drawing the original path so that you can see what is towards and what is away all right so this was the original path and it has bent away from the normal so what do we mean by this word deviation deviation is actually change in path or change in path of what i can state it in two different ways first sense it is change in original path of an incident ray or the total change produced in the incident and emergent path all right so now if i extend this or protrude this i can see how much path has been changed what i mean is this was the incident ray the ray was supposed to go in this direction but ray actually came out in this direction so this was the change so total change in angle terms is called this which is called angle of deviation okay so this is called angle of deviation this is what i wrote the change in angle produced of incident ray due to refraction through prism so now this total deviation is actually sum of deviations from each side there must be some deviation in first side due to refraction and so on the second side so let's see what are those the ray was supposed to go straight but it bent towards the normal so this was the deviation produced from the first surface wherein the ray was supposed to go like this but it bent through this much so this was the deviation produced on the second surface right so if i take the external angle or vertically opposed angle i'll get this one is delta 2 now you got it how i made delta 2 see the ray was supposed to go in this direction but due to refraction it bent by this angle so this was delta 2 that is deviation produced by the second surface now i am drawing the vertically opposite angle of this line these two lines and these two that means this was delta 2 so that is how i get, got that this is the second deviation now in this triangle this one in this triangle the external angle property states that external angle is sum of two interior opposite angles so that makes total deviation is deviation 1 plus deviation 2 that means the total deviation or the total change in angle of the of the path of the incident ray is sum of the change due to first surface and the change due to second surface refraction so this is called deviation produced by a prism 